good morning everyone uh, welcome to today's session okay uh, so today we'll be dealing with parallel magnetism okay so it's a very important question uh, in our KTO syllabus um, okay so in the session we'll be just uh, dealing with uh, the basic theories involved in parallel magnetism and uh, just two problems okay so first uh, the first thing that you need to understand that whenever you get a problem in magnetism you need to understand whether the problem is under parallel magnetism or series magnetism that's the first thing you need to understand after reading the question okay so for that uh, you know most of the cases in most of the problem we are dealing with electromagnets so electromagnets means we have a material so for that material to behave as magnet we need to give a external source or a current so we have a coil and through the coil we'll be passing the current so once the current is made to pass through this coil this entire material will behave as a magnet okay so uh, that's the case so you you need to find uh, where the coil is or where is the uh, from where the magnetizing effect is being entered into this particular uh, circuit. So just find where the coil is. Now from the coil the magnetizing uh, effect will start that is we need to trace the path followed by flux phi. Okay. See it goes like this very simple if the flux phi uh, if the flux phi passes through this magnetic material in a divided manner then this comes under the case of a parallel magnetism if the flux phi passes through the magnetic material in an undivided manner then it comes under the case of series magnetism okay so it depends on the structure of the magnetic material that is given in the problem so please come to figure 1 in figure 1 you can see uh, there are three limbs and the central limb uh, you can see the coil okay so here we will be giving the current and here we will be having the MMF and hence we have the phi flux phi starting here now see this flux phi from here it is getting divided as phi 1 and phi 2 so flux phi is getting divided hence this is a case of parallel magnetism now see the figure 2 here see uh, just find uh, where the coil is wounded here from the coil we get our phi now the phi traces the path to the magnetic meter at this particular point the phi get divided to phi 1 and phi 2 hence these are the cases of parallel magnetism so what is the first thing just try to understand the given magnetic circuit as per the question that is given to you now trace or see how the phi is gonna pass through the magnetic material if the phi is passing in a divided manner then that is a case of a parallel magnetism if phi is not divided in the entire length of the magnetic material then it is a case of a series magnetism okay i think now it is understood what is the meaning of parallel magnetism now now there are basically two important concepts that you need to understand in a parallel magnetism okay so the, these are very very important to deal with the problem so i'll be just explaining you a series of step or a frame so that uh, you can uh, solve the uh, problem and uh, you can get maximum accurate answer so that's my aim so Anyway, you can uh, any method you can solve it, but I'll be just explaining you a series of steps. So try to maintain th this particular manner while tackling a parallel magnetism problem. Okay, so we can just see it is very much similar. This uh, parallel magnetism, uh, this magnetic circuit is very much similar to our electric circuit. So we can just have a comparison. See, this is a case of what a parallel electric circuit. So the same way n9 if we are giving an mmf through this magnetic path then you have the phi here phi is getting divided into two parts which is phi 1 and phi 2 okay so this is your reluctance s then you have the reluctance s1 and s2 depending on the 
circuit okay so from this circuit we can come into two important conclusion what's the first conclusion junction rule you can see a junction rule here so how you can uh, write the equation here definitely phi is equal to what phi 1 plus phi 2 okay that's the first observation i can get from this circuit so phi is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 okay now what is the other most important uh, uh, concept that comes in your mind when you hear a parallel in parallel branch the voltages are same so what is the analog component of voltage when you are coming to a magnetic circuit analog to voltage we have the mmf so in an electric circuit parallel we have voltage same so in a magnetic circuit what must be same it should be the mmf okay so mmf of ad is equal to mmf of bc okay so we get two important concepts from magnetism for all the magnetic problem these are the first two steps that we need to understand the first concept is phi is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 the next concept is the mmf of these two par parallel branches are same now what's the formula for mmf using ohm's law this is ohm's law v is equal to ir so that is mmf is equal to phi into s so mmf formula can be written as phi 1 into s1 here the mmf formula is nothing but phi 2 into s2 so hence i am getting two concepts here so these are the two important concepts first you need to keep in mind after understanding that the given problem is nothing but uh, in the case of a parallel magnetism okay so this is your first step so after this then the next step what you need to understand is that you have to write the total mmf required equation okay so i have shown you two circuits so we'll just see how to write the total mmf required equation okay now we'll come to figure one here i told you where is the starting point of the energy that is here the energy is given in a central limb okay so this is our starting point this is where we get the first mmf and the first flux so total mmf required is equal to mmf required or mmf uh, in the path ad that is mmf required to tackle the reluctance in the path ad plus mmf required to tackle the reluctance in the in any of the other path that is a b c d or a f e d okay so we need mmf to overcome the reluctance in all these path so total mmf required is nothing but the mmf that is required to tackle reluctance in this path plus reluctance in this path or reluctance in this path any of the path you can take okay so that is equation so uh, as a form of equation i'll tell you mmf required is equal to what mmf of ad plus mmf of path a b c d okay this is one equation or the next equation is mmf required is equal to mmf of a d plus mmf of a f e d hope this is clear for you okay see from circuit one m total mmf required is nothing but mmf of the path a b i mean path a d that is it's a path where the coil is wound plus mmf of any of the other path okay now likewise we have the next circuit here how can the equation be framed just look where the coil is wound here the coil is wound in the arm in the left arm okay so the total mmf required is nothing but the M mmf required to tackle the reluctance of a f e d path and mmf required to tackle the reluctance in the path of a d or a b c d okay so we can frame two equation first equation is total mmf required is equal to mmf of a f e d plus mmf of a d or one more equation you can frame that is total mmf required is equal to mmf of a f e d plus mmf of a b c d 
So, these are the two ways in which you can frame the equation. Hope this is clear for you, but do not forget that wherever you get the total flux phi whichever path that should be compulsory be there in the equation ok here you have the coil bound. So, this path should be there in the EMF equation always ok. So, please note that ok. So, what are our steps whenever the first step is please identify by reading the question whether the question is a case of parallel magnetism or not. How to identify just check how the phi is getting travelled in the magnetic circuit it is getting divided or is it travelling undivided. If the phi flux phi is getting divided during its traverse in the magnetic path means it is a case of parallel magnetism ok. So, then after identifying that the given question is a case of parallel magnetism you have to implement you have to apply the two parallel circuit concepts that is nothing but phi is equal to phi 1 plus phi 2 and also phi 1 s 1 is equal to phi 2 s 2 ok these two. Now, the next thing what you need to understand is that you need to write the total MMF required equation here ok. So, that is also uh, that is a next step you need to do. Now, we will see how to do the problem ok.